This is truly the biggest fuck up of my life. I'll be disowned by everyone. Friends, family. Yes, my love, it's not that bad. Piss off, what would you know? Some Christmas spirit. I know you're only a male fantasy, and I don't believe in you anymore. But I did once, and you have to hold that to me. Okay. It was mostly my spots that drove me to mass as a teenager. Oh, Jesus. Help me now. Your mother knows what I'm going through. It's just... I'm two weeks late. What am I gonna do? Maybe if I just tell the truth, be straightforward. This sketch is going to be a killer. That's it. Jason. Mm. You know, we've been together four years. And even though you live off me, never do any housework, take me for granted, spend all day thinking of bad jokes for your routine, <gasps> we've been very happy, I think. <clears throat> Jason, I'm pregnant. But I'm not sure if you're the father. Possibly not be the father. Well, you know that actor I went to interview in London last month? Yeah. I slept with him. Now you've got a bond deal. Mommy, how could you? I'm sorry. It didn't mean anything. I really love you. What do you want to do with the baby? I want to keep it. Well, stay with me. It'll be our child. Jesus, Molly. <laughs> Hello. I suppose we all make mistakes. I don't want to lose you either, Molly. So we could manage. You can't tell anybody, especially not your mates. Jason. Hope at least the father was good looking. Who am I kidding? But I'm not sure if you're the father. What the fuck do you mean by that? Have you been sleeping around? No. Yes. But it didn't mean anything. And why the hell did you do it then? I don't know. It just made me feel like being 20 again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I can't believe this. But I want to stay with you. In your dreams. I'm not bringing up some prick's child, you slut. What about all our plans? To make a fortune this Christmas dressing up as Teletubbies, huh? I'm sorry. Get the hell out of here. There's always Robert, of course. Molly, darling. What are you doing here? Come in. Come in, my wife is out. So, how long since we met? Seven months, four weeks, and two days. Ah. Is it mine? Yes. I think so. I haven't stopped thinking about you since that night. I haven't eaten, I haven't slept. I leave my wife. Our relationship is dead anyway. We'll be together. With our child. Oh. 
He looks nothing like me. Hmm? No. No, you don't. It's no one there, it's just someone selling something. What are you doing here? That's my child? You sure about that? You probably sleep with everybody that you interview. It's got nothing to do with me. Don't come back here, you'll be sorry. Maybe being honest isn't such a good idea. Joseph! 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 Why would you not have come here? You're getting fucking sad. Don't lose the head, but I'm gonna have a baby. What? You're up the fucking power? I don't believe this. We respected you. I was gonna wait for the wedding. Slapper. John! Tell me who did it to you. No one. No one. That's a good one. If I find out, I'm gonna ghost him. What if I tell Jason about Robert? And it turns out to be his baby anyway. And I've caused all this trouble for nothing. But if I don't, and it is Robert's. God, please give me a sign to show me who the father is. It was an angel called Gabriel. Gabriel? Okay. Do you know him? Has a runny? Shit, I'm gonna kill him and then he'll be yeah. back for you. Wait. Gabriel's an angel. He told me I'm having God's son. You've been taking all his ears again. He said you'd be like the son of God set there. I don't give a fuck who the father is. I'm not looking after someone else's little bastard. Not take you now. You know, I read somewhere that 40% of children in Ireland call the wrong man Daddy. I have some great news, Jason. I know we said we'd wait a while, but... We're going to have a baby. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm not ready yet. Come on, you'll be a great dad. Suppose. It's better this way, yeah? You never would have done if you planned. You'd have to be called George, though. So. After bestie. We expert train him. He'd play for Ireland. Yes, dear. George! 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 Fine. Molly Henderson, is that you? Go away, Robert. Oh! What age are you, little fella? Ten next week. Molly, how could you? How could you? Your Honor, I demand a paternity test. That woman has stolen precious years with my son. Molly Henderson, you have been found guilty of one of the most heinous crimes against society. You have destroyed the lives of two men and a little boy. I sentence you to never have sex again in your sorry life. You're a 
danger to all law-abiding men. Take her away to where all bad girls go. I suppose I could just get rid of the problem. I don't want to. I'm 33 and I'd love a baby, but not this way. I never realized how much I love Jason till now when it's too late. I don't want to be with Robert. I just have to cope on my own with this baby. Maybe it won't be so bad. I'll just disappear and never be seen again. Jesus and Mary, if you sort this out for me, I'll believe in you forever. And I'll never, ever, ever cheat on Jason again, no matter how much I'm tempted. I'll give up having sexual fantasies about you and McGregor. You can give me cellulite, anything, even spots back. Not take you now. like the X-Files. Mary, the truth is out there. So you believe me then? Leprosy. The plague. You name it, I'll take it. Yeah. Have you been sleeping around? Seven months, four weeks and two days. I'm sorry. How could you? Get the hell out of here. Of course, it's all a load of bollocks anyway. It's probably a coincidence. I got my dates wrong. I'll just carry condoms in future. God, Molly. Little brats have been hanging out with me all day. Where are the parents? That's what I'd like to know. Stop. <laughs> yeah, you fell for it. What a gobshite. 